hello welcome back to my youtube channel it's Dawn here so today i'm with you because we're going to do a journal page um so it's going to be a nice quick easy journal page today hopefully um and i'm going to use the arctic um winter arctic winters i, I can't remember um, and anyway, i'm going to use these gorgeous digi stamps from our lovely julie because i thought you know what these would look beautiful in my um journal i also have a few of the sentiments so we've got eskimo kisses we've got have a whale of a time and you are amusing which i love so i think i'm going to use those two actually um, and we are going to use, um, so let's have a look. We are going to use Maurice and we are also going to use Willow. Um, so that's them two. And I'm thinking, what else? Um, I want that one for a card. Um, I have two, oh, actually let's stick with, yeah. I like that right okay so the first thing I'm going to do so I'm loving what I'm seeing so that's what I'm going to use um we also have some papers as well which I'd like to add in um so the first thing I want to do is I want to prime my page um and to prime it I'm just going to use some gesso so this is a Stamperia gesso um it's a very thick gesso I'm just going to wash it down just because um make it easier to go over my page Right, I'm just using a paintbrush. I actually pick these up in um, um, in the pound shop during lockdown um, and they were in the craft section and you know they're actually really nice brushes to use so I thought let's use that because I'm not really going to do a lot of um, sort of paints or mediums or, and stuff on this. I'm going to sort of use the papers and make the papers the... Um, the focal point um right i'm just going to put a little bit on that i'm thinking that maybe i should have just stuck this piece down right um liking that oh oh do you know what else would work and would look really really nice with this is julia's stencils but i'll get them in a moment first of all we oh actually no first of all i want to put some paint on so i'm wanting plenty of water for this but i do have to be careful so let's mix this in with the water move these out of the way um because my paper isn't watercolor paper because this is just a junk journal so it is just um some tea dyed um papers and some uh scrapbooking paper so nothing really that is very good at holding um, lots and lots of water so I do need to be careful right I'm just um, popping on a layer of this blue because I love this blue um, and this is going to be my base so it's not looking like much now um, because I really am it's just sometimes you've just got to break that blank page as our Julia always says you know just get something down and you know she's completely right um, as soon as you've got something down on the page um, that's when your ideas will start to flow so um, a junk journal will be good for a mop-up page that's what um, our Julia does and um, a few other people actually um, do with theirs right loving it um i do need my cloth um with whatever i've done with it i may have to get my other one down typical so let me just grab my cloth uh, just to clean that up because no me it will go everywhere so there we have it really really quick and, and simple background um i'm gonna quickly blast it um just with my heat gun like this uh, just so that it's nice and dry um, I may have to stick that one down to the other page but that is fine so just like this the other thing that I brought in I thought we could use for this which is my embellishment mousse and it is in coastal surf I thought that would be quite nice to use Okay. The blue that I've used um, is, 
is one that I can't read I'm afraid um, I don't know if you can see it so there you go that's the glue that I have used um, if you are wondering right okay so that's all that uh, just about dry so now we're going to take advantage of the papers because the papers are just stunning um, so I'm wanting these to sort of come in um, and they just show up beautifully on that blue background so I'm sort of building um, a scene I've got the other papers here um, they're just absolutely beautiful um, oh I think I want that one um, with all those nice bright colours uh, find somewhere to put that there we go um, and I'm just sort of pulling bits apart and then um, we're going to sort of, I'm just sort of building up um, for our scene really. I'm thinking that up there. I'm going to just glue that down there because I don't, I don't want my uh, flippy out bit to be. Um, yeah. So I'm, so I'm liking that. Let's just tuck that in there. Now I want to bring in, I'm going to bring in this one. So, um, so, I just want, as you can see, it really is just about building up um, your layers. And do, art journaling is just about having fun as well. Um, it's also, art journaling is good for experimenting as well, getting to know your mediums. Um, yeah, um, it can be used for so many different things. Now, I don't know if you can hear, but that is Lucy being very... Um, noisy but um, I'm sure she'll realize very soon so that's what I've got so far so um, I am going to put a bit more I think up in this corner um, so we have like the rule of three. Oh, perfect I'm liking that so I just want a little bit extra on there um, yeah, I think that's perfect. Right, let's grab my glue and let's get these glued down. So I'm just, actually, do you know what? I'm going to use my um, glue sticks for this because I just think it's going to be so much easier than that. So I have um, my Tonic Studio glue sticks. Actually, I've got a little one open here. So let's use that one. Um, so I'm going to just, yeah. Um, I just find it so, they're really smooth to go on. I'm really impressed actually with them. Never been a fan of glue sticks, but um, I definitely love these. I need <laughs> some paper or something to put down so that I can glue this properly. Because I know our Alison, she has um, a little glue book and I've watched, um, I think it's... Um, shall we dabby do that she has a glue book as well i did have a glue book and then the problem was with that glue book i ended up using it to make some journals and some other bits so really yeah i need to get one a nice little one i think just for doing um gluing um right i'm gonna have to keep wiping this i think because then otherwise you end up with a sticky mess all over the place um I don't think you can quite see it very well. Um, actually, let's see if I do have something that I can use as a glue book. Oh, and Quincy was stood right behind me. Um, what about... Oh, I have this one. So, my husband got me this, but you know what he can do with that. Um, well, no, I actually did quite like it. So it's the woman's book, everything but the kitchen sink. Um, but yeah, never looked at it. However, I love the look of the papers inside to actually do journaling with. So it, um, it was a decision between going to the charity shop or using it in my craft. So yeah, I'm going to use it in my craft. So let's, um, let, let's use it as our glue book. So I'm probably going to get thumbs down for this one, aren't I? And there's Lady. Wow, it's all go tonight, isn't it? Okay, right, I'll be back in a moment. Right, okay, sorry about that. 
Um, so <laughs> Lady was chasing Quincy around as Lady does. So where were we? Yeah. So like I said, I'll probably get loads of thumbs down for this. But you know what? Um, yeah, I haven't read it. I love the look of the papers that I really want to use. And I love the book cover itself, which I really want to use for my next junk journal. So um, this, once I finish this journal, it'll then be this journal, that um, this one that I make into a journal. Oh, we've more or less run out of that one. Will it come out? Yeah, because we don't want to waste. So if we can get the last bits out, we will. Um, so yeah, so that is why I'm, I've decided that I'm just using this one because it is perfect for um, gluing this down without making a sticky mess. So when you when I finish doing this art journal, you will see me do um, turn this one into an art journal page. So so yeah, just bore you with all that information there. Right, okay. So this is a bigger one. So when um, Tonic Studios had a sale on, I bought loads of this. Um, it was, I think, like four of them. So you got two large and two small for uh, £2, I want to say £2.74. So I bought three lots um, and I absolutely love it. And I'm nearly through it all, actually. So I was on the other day because I'm wanting to get a new scoreboard. Um, a 12 by 12 one. I don't want a fold, foldy one like what I've got. So I thought they had um, a sale on where it was only £12 for the um, 12 by 12 full size one where it doesn't fold. So I've ordered myself that um, and I've probably already, by the time this video goes up, I'll have already done the um, the whole video for it um, but while I was on there they had the larger ones for 74 pence so I've ordered myself another six because um, like I said they're brilliant for when you do um, art journaling and other bits like that so so yeah right I'm just going to trim this bit down okay just like that um, now a lady has come in here um, not sure where that she is no she's run away Ah, oh, she's gone somewhere. Right, okay, so I'm going to grab this. Um, I'm going to grab a spatula, so I don't, not to put my fingers in. Because um, if you put your fingers in, it can go mouldy. Um, Julia's, oh, I don't know how it happened, but hers went mouldy. Um, and she was absolutely devastated. And I'm not surprised, because she'd only used it um, once, and within a week it had gone mouldy. Um, which I think is really, really bad. I, even my ink of gold, um, I have the gold one. So when you, when I get that out, you'll see that I'm always scraping a little bit of mould off. But that's left for months. So I'm a bit sort of shocked at the quality of um, these and how hers have, um, have been. So yeah, really, really yeah, shocked at that. Okay, so I've just put some on this stick because obviously I don't want to put my fingers in there just to be on the safe side. Um, and I'm just sort of blending all of these in together, um, just like this. And it just gives a nice little shine as well. So like I said, this is going to be a quick page today. We're not really going to overthink it at all. Um, so there's not going to be much going on. Tell you what I'm thinking though. I definitely want to add in um, some stenciling. Um, so let's do that. So where's and I'm thinking the perfect stencil for this is the suspended circles. So that one. So is what I'm thinking. Now I don't want these really, really thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my finger through them because if I did it through the paste, we'd end up with a thick paste, but I don't want that. Um, I just want like a, a smooth coating of it. So by using my finger, hopefully we get what we want, um, but without the, the depth because these are really, really thick and they're such, such good quality. Um, I mean, I've got quite a few... Oh, that's worked perfectly. I've got quite a few stencils, which I didn't realise. I've got absolutely hundreds of them. Um, and yeah, these are definitely 
um, top quality. Um, I've got some that just, oh, they're not even, they weren't even worth my money and I pay quite a bit for them. They're just so flimsy um, and not good quality. So yeah, it's always nice to find um, a good quality stencil. So, and not bad either priced. Um, right. I'm just wanting a little bit more over here. And then what I think I'm going to do, just to bring it, make it a bit darker, is, oh, doesn't that look lovely? Um, I'm thinking I want to bring in my, let's have a look, see what we've got. I've got Mermaid Lagoon. So let's see what that's like. I've never used this one before, so it will be interesting to see. To see how it looks. Ooh, I like. So yeah, I definitely, definitely like that one. However, it's not going to. Oh, actually, no, it's showing. It's showing up a little bit. So I'm just going to. Um, and this is just to add more interest, really, onto our page. Just to yeah, make it look really, really nice. Oh, I love that. I don't think I want to add much else actually. I just love how that looks. Um, right, okay, I do need to clean that stencil. Let me just put my ink back. I... Oh, knocking. Um, yeah, so, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying, yeah. Um, I don't want to sort of bring in anything else. However, I think I do want to add some splashes. Um, so we're going to add, because we're working with the C, I want white splashes, um, because I think they will look gorgeous. So I'm just going to grab a paintbrush, and I'm just going to grab a little bit out of here. Um, and using my mat, this is why I love having um, a glass mat, because I use it as my... Oh yeah, as my paint palette all the time and mixing mediums and I just think it's such a yeah I, I've had um, palettes and all sorts and yeah I every time I go back to my glass mat there's just something about using it that I just love and it's yeah just feels good <laughs> um, and then all I have to do when I'm finished crafting is just wash my mat down and away we go so right okay so there we are so I'm just going to um tap this on so we want I need to sort of get more on my brush. I want quite big splatters if we can. So I'm liking that. So let's do this. Okay. Um right, okay. Brill. Absolute brill. I love how that's looking. I just think that is gorgeous. So as you can see, we've created that quite quickly. Now I can't tell you the time because I had to stop halfway through because uh, Lady was being her usual self. Um, but yeah, it, it's Lady. So what do you expect? Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just so this matches in just a little bit is I'm just going to go around the edges with it. Um, just so that it's not that stark white and I, I'm fine with it getting on um, our image so just all the way around but yeah it feels lovely doing something just a little bit different I feel like I've been making cards forever um, I don't get me wrong I love making cards um, but yeah I've been because I've been do, concentrating on my 12 days of Christmas um, it, it just feels really really good um just doing something just that little bit different okay so just going all the way around um again we're just doing this just because i don't want that sort of um bright white um and it'll just make, help it blend as well into the um what you call it into the background oh how cute are those? Oh, they're so cute. Right, let me just pop that on there. Um, okay, so that's that done. Now, I have this, which I will fussy cut out. So, like so. Um, just to make it a little bit smaller. 
can hear someone behind me. Oh, I actually have both of them behind me. So they're both in the bed. So Quincy's having a little scratch and Lady's sulking because I'm not in bed. <laughs> How bad's that? But I really felt like coming downstairs and actually doing a little bit of crafting with you. So um, that's what we're doing. So I'm thinking having that one there and then again let's do the same with this one is let's I'm gonna have this one split I think so like this yeah and then let's do the same go around Okay, so I'm going to have that there, yeah, no, I like that, I think, actually, I think I want that one up there, so I'm going to have that, now, I do want to ground them, so I'm going to use my deep indigo um, pencil, um, because I'm going to put, so just across the bottom like this, um, so this is something that I've learned from our Julia. I never used to ground them and then once she pointed it out that they just sort of stood in, in, in sort of in the air I just thought actually yeah I don't do it all the time but um, there is there is uh, times when I think actually yeah let's do let's let's do what Julia does. I've actually learned quite a lot over the, the last couple of years of our lovely Julia. The other lady um who I've learned a lot of is our Angela. Oh she is just a whiz at everything. So if you haven't subscribed to her, highly, highly recommend it. Um definitely recommend it actually because she's just fab. Um really, really fab. Right, still got a bit of ink left on this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go around it just with what's on my brush because yeah I don't want to add any more on I think it's it's got enough on um, so and do the same with these because they're just that little bit um, a little bit too white for my liking so oh perfect where well, it's a little bit sticky it stuck it down for me which I love right let's get this glued down so and then I think the next the last thing that I'm going to do oh, I should use my glue stick um because it would have got all around the edges um yeah the next thing we'll do is I'm going to get um a doodle pen and we're going to do a little bit of doodling I love having a little bit of a doodle okay so I'll stick that there let me just move them out the way um I'm going to glue him down so our Maurice um so let's get him glued so again just using my glue stick i haven't had anything fall apart yet with these glue sticks so um but time will tell so we'll see we'll see how it goes um but yeah like i say i'm quite i'm actually quite impressed with tonic uh, tonic glue which i didn't think i would be but i am so just like this and then this one. So let's stick that there. And then our last bit. So making sure that all of the edges are, are covered. And this is why I think it's quite nice to have um, a little glue book because you can get to, um, to the edges. Right, okay. So that is um, basically it done um, and this is the last bit that we're going to do so I'm actually going to use my um, archival ink pen um, well actually it's a brush so yeah let's use this why not um, right what am I going to do let's let's follow some of these and just put yeah I like them so I'm, I'm following some of the suspended um, circle lines and just put in a round thing on the end so just where they are but just coming a little bit more down so nothing really um, exciting right and then I am going to put just a little bit of black within this just like that um, and let's do some 
Oh, do you know what would be nice if we just did some petals on? I love doing that. I haven't done it for ages. So just add in circles really. So you just sort of um, add in like daft little bits on. Um, so it's like I would like it's like grass, I suppose. Um, do you know what I should have used? I just thought um, I should have got um, under the sea stamps out. I think they would have worked but as you can see there is no sort of um, like rhyme or reason to what I'm doing I'm just playing and I think sometimes that's all we need don't be scared and this is again this is what a junk journal is for or an art journal is for it's about experimenting it's about you know having a play seeing whether or not um, you like something so you know, I mean, it just turn, happens to turn out. I'm quite liking what I'm seeing. Um, but, you know, I've got um, art journal pages that are awful. And they're really, really bad. But you know what? I enjoy doing them. So, um, and I leave them. I don't put them right. I keep them as they are. Um, because, you know, it's how I was feeling at the time. Because I think yeah, a lot of my art journal sort of um, represents how... I feel so today I'm feeling very carefree and happy and the sort which is um, hopefully showing in my uh, in my doodles so I'm not I think that's that last one because we've got this bit here so we're just gonna have that oh, I love it um, do I want to add any more in there I don't think I do um, try to think what else I want to add I don't think I need to add anything perhaps except Let's do Julia's trick. Let's do a border. So we're going to do a border. So I'm just, I'm not even going to, it's just going to be a line all the way around. Nothing special, just a line. Um, but I think, you know what, it's going to frame it really, really nicely. So yeah. And there you have it. So, oh, let's... I wasn't going to, but I want to now. Let's have some squiggles. Right. Um, also, just going to go underneath the sentiments just to highlight them a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. I really like that, actually. Right, there you are, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, a quick simple um, page for you today um, using the papers and the new digi stamps from our gorgeous Julia um, because they are beautiful do check out the description box because you'll find everything you need in there um, so that's where um, you'll find all the links to purchase this there is a coupon code as well I don't know if it's run out yet or not so um, but yeah um, all depends on when this goes up i'm hoping this is going up on the sunday um and i think the code normally runs out either the monday night at 12 o'clock or the tuesday night at 12 o'clock so um yeah so do do take advantage of that but like i said that is it for me today i hope you've enjoyed it here just quick and simple i love it i think it's gorgeous i am however going to glue this page to that page because um, yeah, it doesn't feel very sturdy, but as you can see, don't know what I was feeling there. Probably, yeah, it's ah, lovely. Um, but yeah, when this is finished, this book is finished, I will actually do a flip through for you. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I keep saying that, don't I? And then I carry on talking. Please do give a thumbs up. Please share this video. I really would appreciate it. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you again. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.